Cassie, when everything else from this day falls away, what will be left is a promise. It is a promise that we make to each other. And today I am privileged to promise myself to you. And while the promise I make today is of an entirely different kind, when I look at our relationship over all of these years, my role has always been founded upon a set of promises. The first promise I made five years ago. I made a promise to you that no matter what happens between us, every day I would work to be a little better to you than the day I was before. The second promise I made very far from here. Just before I asked you if you would stand with me here today, I told you that you had brought purpose and meaning into my life. But today I do not promise to do something, rather I promise to be something. I promise to be your husband, but I promise to be much more than that. I promise that starting in this moment, I will never stop working to surpass your expectations of what a husband should be. I promise I will always love you, Cassie. We have grown together now and will grow old together, which is more than I could have ever wished for. After three years of long distance, I know that we can overcome anything and that we must always cherish the time that we have with one another. Joe, you have the most selfless soul I have ever known, and I am so incredibly lucky that I have a lifetime of getting to learn more about you. I vow to love you even through the tough times and great times. I promise you'll never have to face anything alone, and I promise I'll always be there to support you through whatever may come our way. I promise, to, I, promise I love you and I promise to love you more and more every single day. I, Joe, take you, Cassidy, to be my wife. I, Cassidy, take you, Joe, to be my husband. couldn't be more proud of either of them and I pers at the risk of bragging I think they're just gorgeous now I know these two met back in high school for my own selfish reasons I don't want to talk about high school we don't need to bring it back there I hope for them to have a long and happy life together and like I said yesterday I have all the blessings that they deserve I love you both So we'll start off at the day where I officially met Cassie. And Cassie brought her ladies over. And it was a big night. We didn't we didn't have a lot of ladies come over. It was a rarity. <laughs> so that was awesome. It's just awesome to watch Cass grow from a little girl who was eating ants naked on the back porch to uh, to here to uh, where she is today. So. Vibrating personalities, you can tell that they are meant for each other. They both have grown into being the power couple that complement each other's strengths and weaknesses. So when they come together, they are um, the epitome of what anyone wants in a relationship. You are Kornkowski now, but you will always be a little loose in my heart, and I love you tons. It's Joe and Cass. pre-written speech that I'll read from verbatim. <laughs> All right? How crazy is that, man? It's your wedding. <laughs> it's your wedding, bro. Cassie and Joe, I just wish nothing but the best for you guys. Toast, cheers, newlyweds. <laughs> I've got a boy. Yeah, I never thought I'd see him. And I've got a boy! Oh!